So, Sonic Frontiers at TGS, folks. The pre-TGS stuff from Sonic Frontiers, we got some stuff drip-dropped. We have got the ending and the opening songs revealed. So, the ending oh. song... <laughs> we are back! We are back, baby! The We're ending song, uh, Vandalized by One OK Rock. I, I love I love J-Rock. This fucks. This goes hard. This goes way harder than you would think it does. And it just sounds... It sounds really good. It sounds really fitting. I think... I don't think the band made this song for Sonic Frontiers. I think Sega just licensed it. But it fits the game very, very well. Someone also pointed out that uh, it was edited around the... The edited line was... uh, What was it? Fight away the pain, my head is in ruins. Whereas the unedited version is... Fuck away the pain, my bed is in ruins. (laughs) And doing this podcast has given me an ear for audio editing, so I can tell that it definitely was edited because, uh, so the sound of my in head, uh, there is like a half second dead air segment that definitely was edited. They did not like re-record the entire line, which is very interesting, but hey, just a little funny thing I noticed. Just a little, just a little, a little, a little jape, a little, a little laugh, one might even say. But uh, Daniel Barnes, who is who will be doing an upcoming uh, IDW miniseries, uh, Scrapnik Island, he's the writer for it. He pointed out that the melody of the song actually sounds extremely similar to a melody that plays in the first island of the game. It's probably a it's it's a motif. It's a lay motif. Oh my god, I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't wait! I'm gonna be so fucking hyped for that shit. I love lay motifs. It's so good. The other song that got revealed, the opening, is I'm Here, uh, which, oh my god, holy fuck, what an anthem. That We are back, folks. So the vocals and the lyrics are done by Mary Kirk Holmes of Two Octavia. Never heard of that band either, but hey, does a pretty good job. Uh, this was arranged and composed by Tomi Otani. Bless him, bless him. It, uh, it's, it's, it's... It's really fucking good. I've I've popped it on a few times and just oh my oh my god, it's it's great. It's great. It's so good. The little bonus talk to end my bit is that uh remember that one trailer where it ended with Sonic getting that shown in like electricity across the face shot? Yeah, that shot's actually in the fishing mini game. <laughs> hey yo Oh yeah, by the way, we got a model reveal for Big the Cat. He uh looks beautiful. As I always tell myself. As always, uh, that man just fishing. Um so, let's talk about the TGS trailer. Our theory got confirmed. Real, Excuse real, me. real, real. Speed's theory got confirmed. So, yeah, you, you could transform to supersonic per island. It's, uh... Now, however, that does open another question, though. What's going to happen at the end of the game? Because just going super, when you can already do it for each, like, super boss at the end, at the end of each island, it's going to feel a little weak. So, folks, this is my Hail Mary prediction. All right, get ready for this. I don't necessarily think this is going to happen for the record, but I'm just going to put it out there, okay? I think we're getting hypersonic back. I don't think we're getting hypersonic back. I'm going to I'm going to one up that. I'm going to one up that. I think they're going to let they're finally after so many years they're going to let Sonic have a new form. How so, h- how sick would it be? How sick would it be if we got a new form? That would be sick and you know what? It still plays into it either way because I have my I have my my proof, all right? I have my spreadsheet all right, proof. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we know Knuckles is in the game. And because of the prologue that explains why Knuckles is in the situation he is, we know the Master Emerald seems to relate to some situation. And it seems to be implied that we might be getting Chaos Emerald lore as well. So let's put together all the pieces. Chaos Emerald... Master Emerald, Master Emerald is able to charge up the Chaos Emeralds. If it is hypersonic, that's how we get the Super Emeralds. Boom. Now, if we do get a new form, still can apply either way. Don't get me yes, wrong. Absolutely. I mean, either way, it's gonna. I, I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited. Every trailer they show just keeps the game looking better and better and better. And honestly, like I, I can say this fully now. Like I'm like fully invested. I'm locked in. I, I have full faith. I, I really, really believe it. There was a lot of content that came out uh, over the weekend uh, and over the past couple of weeks, including a very interesting comment by uh, Izuka. Uh, he was asked something, and uh, oh boy, huh. There's been a lot of talk about this lately, huh? He's, he's sort of been bringing it up a fair bit, but um, 
Thanks to Donnie, uh, SSF1991, as always. Izuka was asked if he had free reign to add anything he wanted to a Sonic game, what he would add. His answer was, of course, instead of a feature, I'd like to kind of make the next adventure game. I really want to continue creating the adventure series. Now, I think the reason why he's, like, throwing this out there is because he's trying to gauge interest. And listen, Sega, for better or worse are very interested in the fan feedback. So I think he's trying to trying to throw some bait out there if you catch my drift. Because Izuka has also said in interviews surrounding Frontiers, he said that if he were to make an Adventure 3, he would take what the, the team had learned from making Frontiers to build Adventure 3. But with that being said, assume that they would go in that direction for the next game after Frontiers. It, it's going to need a big budget. It's going to need a AAA budget. I don't... It can't not. All right. So let me. So, so let me. Let me. Let me. Let me continue this this train of thought for a second because I feel like it's also important to mention that Frontiers is the series Hail Mary, and it is the series Hail Mary for a lot of reasons. There was another interview that came out with IGN Japan where a lot of various things were talked about, but to summarize it, they basically said that Sonic Team had been working on this full time. Izuka had literally had to shelter the game from the higher ups and say, you have to let us finish this the way we need to finish it because they were going to release it early and they weren't going to let it be polished and finished like it should be. You've been working on this game for five years. Why isn't it ready? Right? Now we, and now we know why. Now we know why. They held playtesting once every three or four months until this July, since 2017 or 2018. They recognize what happened. They recognize that they fucked up. They recognize that they have not been given the time that they need to be given. And they understand that their true goal, which they even stated, is that they want to bring Sonic Team back to the top. They want to make people respect them again. And you want to know something? I have fucking respect. I have so much respect for them, in fact, that the fact that they even admitted this and are talking about it so publicly and are so confident with what they're making... This is the Sonic team I've wanted to see for years. This is the development house that I know can make bangers. This is the truth. This is what I have been waiting for more than anything. All this came from Kishimoto, the director of the game. The series now has a lot of goodwill built, particularly from the two uh, Paramount movies. Those brought in a lot of fans, you know, some back to the series, some younger who are, you know, into the series fully now, and then they experience the series also through, like, the comics or some of the re-releases, like Origins, and it's just like, there's so much riding on Frontiers, and I'm so glad that the team, and Izuka in particular, recognizes that. Fuck the higher-ups at Sega for trying to pull this shit again, and... Double shoutouts to Azuka for doing everything he can to shield the team and to give them the time they need to make this game. Because honestly, if the if the higher ups got their way, yeah, Frontiers would have been out by now, but it would not be in the state that we're seeing right now. Absolutely not. Yep, absolutely. I I I have firm belief that Izuka knows that this is what needs to get done. We can't have any more of these half baked, half produced, half half finished games coming out anymore, especially in 2022. No. Sonic's reputation because of this shit has been damaged so many times over by games that are just rushed and com completed in a way that's exhaustive. They need this. November, November 8th can't come soon enough. I have full faith. I, I'm super, I have not been this excited for a game in a long time. Every time I think about Frontiers, it's just, oh God, I have to get it now. And not only that, I'm not alone in that thought, folks, because there's someone else, someone very prominent in the game that is, <laughs> feels very so, similarly. So, so I love how Nintendo dick riders, right? Like Nintendo only gamers, the guys who jerk off Nintendo nonstop. Sonic Frontiers looked like shit. It's not as good as Mario. <laughs> yeah. Masahiro Sakurai plays Sonic Frontiers, posts on Twitter that he's extremely interested in it now, or excuse me, was extremely interested before, but now is getting it day one after playing it TGS. Oh my God, it looks so good. Sakurai said it was wonderful. It's like, bro. Okay, but look, listen. That aside, this game has Sakurai seal of approval, folks. It's a wrap. It's a fucking wrap. That's it. <laughs> it's a wrap. Listen, I mean, if, if you're getting Sakurai's approval, that, that's how that's how you know you're 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 doing you're, you're you're doing work. You know, that's how that's how you know that that shit is looking crisp. Mighty fine. November eighth can't come soon enough. I'm looking forward, folks. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait.